In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform an intramuscular injection mid-deltoid. And so, um, again, you want to make sure your hands are washed uh, thoroughly and you want to make sure that you have your gloves on and that your gloves are not contaminated. So the first thing I want you to do is to um, always remember to uh, identify your patient. So, hi, my name is Carlos. I'll be uh, giving you an injection in your muscle, your uh, shoulder muscle. Um, is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. And can you state your first and last name for me, please? My name is Jane Doe, and my date of birth is 8-12-92. Okay, and Jane Doe, are you allergic to anything I'm going to be using, like uh, the sodium chloride, cotton balls, metal, or adhesive? No. Okay. Um, now, do you have a preference on which side? My right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get prepped up, and then uh, we'll bring it back and give you the injection, okay? Mm -hmm. So hang tight. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prep my syringe, <coughs> take that back half off and throw it uh, in the um, trash, loosen the plunger just like before, just loosen the plunger, and then we're going to loosen the cap just like before. We're going to just loosen the cap by pushing it forward. Don't take it off, just loosen it and set it back into its sterile field. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to prep our, um, actually before we do that, we need to check the label to make sure we're, uh, we're giving the right medication. Okay, so read your label carefully, look at the expiration date, and read all those instructions very carefully. Okay, so now that I know that I have the right medication, we're going to go ahead and prep the, uh, the top of the vial using that very firm back and forth <coughs> technique that I showed earlier. Now that that's ready to go, um, we're going to check our label now for the second time. I need to see you guys checking your label three times. So this is our second check, and I still see that I have the right medication. Okay. Um, we're also going to use a 0 0.05 cc um, dose, so we're going to draw the plunger up to 0 0.05 and we're going to um, now withdraw the medication. Using one hand, you're going to place the needle into the uh, stopper, the vial stopper, turn it upside down, and we're going to withdraw, we're going to inject the air, you'll see the air bubbles go in, and then we're going to withdraw the medication. Remember to withdraw a healthy amount, in fact, if you go over half, um, over the 0.5, then that's plenty to get those bubbles um, down so you can pop them back to the top. All right, so we're going to go ahead and um, return the plunger to the 0 0.05, which is that five little lines past the first big one. Okay, so now that that's ready, we're going to safely set it back down, pull the needle out, and recap it with one hand. It's called a single hand recapping technique. I want to see you handling needles with two hands if at all possible. Okay, now that you have your syringe prepped with medication, we're going to check our label a third time. And I can see that I still have the right medication. And again, I need to see you check your label three times. That's an industry standard, and we expect the same thing here. All right, so um, can I get you to pull your arm out of your sweater? And I'm going to have you stand right here. <clears throat> and this time, instead of locating the third, we're actually going to be locating the end of her shoulder. So we're going to be um, actually placing the medication about three to four fingers down below the edge of the shoulder. And if I can get you to kind of up here to the top, <coughs> you'll notice that the shoulder, the clavicle goes all the way to the end. And we're actually going to be placing our hand right there at the corner of the shoulder. Okay? So, um, and I'm going to also switch places and do it again. <coughs> so let me come over here. You're going to take... Um, the blade of your hand, place it on that corner end of the shoulder, and then you're just going to make an upside down V. Notice how my fingers are making an upside down V. That should place you about three to four fingers down from that corner, from that edge of the shoulder. Okay? So um, I want to see you place the blade of your hand on the corner of the shoulder, and I want to see you make an upside down V. Place another finger where you think you're going to give the injection, but then come back up and verify that you're three to four fingers down. I need to see you landmark that way. What that's going to do, it's going to prevent you from going too low, too far to the back, or too far to the front, and certainly it's going to prevent you from going too high, which is in that shoulder bone. Okay, we don't want to do that. Okay, so place your finger at the, the edge of the shoulder. We call that the acromion process. Make an upside down V, and that's where we're going to be sticking. Okay, so prep the skin. You're going to let it dry for 30 seconds. <clears throat> Please watch the clock. Last thing you want to do is give an injection when that alcohol is still wet. I know on the field they do that all the time, but in here I'd like to make sure that the alcohol is not wet. That'll sort of eliminate some of that steaming. Okay? <clears throat> now with our cotton ball in hand, we're going to go back up to the top here 
At this point, I want you to remember that we don't tent the skin up like this. We just position our hand like this to hit landmark to remind us where we're going to give the injection. I'm going to have you turn this way. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in at a 90 degree angle, but I'm going to warn my patient, ma'am, you're going to fill a stick in one, two, and three, and then we're going to go in. So if you can get a side view there. Now the needle is in, but please notice how my hand is anchored down to her arm, okay? We're going to aspirate to make sure we're not in a blood vessel, then we're going to inject. Once the medication is injected, we're going to pull the needle straight back and out while we hold pressure. I want to make sure that your hands are separated from each other, okay? So I'm going to instruct the patient to hold pressure while I take this needle over to the sharps container and drop it in there. Notice how I didn't cross my hands, but I just simply got rid of it, okay? Now that that's in, we're going to go ahead and put the band-aid on. And uh, while we're putting the band-aid on, we can advise the patient um, that we don't expect you to have a reaction to this medication. However, if you do, um, give us a call. If we're closed, then you might have to go to the nearest emergency room. If it's serious enough, you might have to call 911. But again, we don't expect you to have a reaction. Reactions can include shortness of breath, dizziness, um, it can include um, local swelling or local fever or perhaps even um, a fe fever, syst systemic fever. So um, if you experience any of those, then give us a call. <clears throat> okay, thank you very much.